Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Today is Whip Weekend number 90. Saturday, January 13th. I made a mistake and I said last week was Whip uh, 90, but it was not. Today is Whip Weekend 90. Um, I've uh, already done this once for about 10 minutes and then realized that I wasn't recording, so we're doing it all again. I'm probably going to forget half the things, but I'll try and uh, remember. I had a very quiet week this week. I just had to do a couple errands, um, had to do some legal work and then bring it back to the lawyer. So that was one day. And I did that first thing in the morning. We've had, well, the weather stations, you know, blow everything out of proportion and say, oh, epic storm coming. Don't go out if you don't have to. So, uh, First thing Tuesday morning, I went out and went to the uh, the lawyers, and it snowed, but not that much. We did, and it didn't stay because it started to rain in the evening, so it snowed. And all week has been like that. It has been gloomy. We have not seen the sun here in southern Ontario this week, and uh, hopefully uh, it'll come out soon. But um, from what I understand, I'm recording this on Friday. We're supposed to have a very bad storm starting late this evening so we'll see what happens there and I remember I'm sounding like my grandmother and my mother now but uh, I remember back uh, wicked storms would be like a foot of snow they're expecting 10 centimeters which is like three or four inches which is nothing I think you know growing up and uh, we haven't had any snow this year really so it is what it is I there's nothing we can do about it. It's winter and we've been so lucky that we haven't had any snow at all. So that's what I did. I did a little bit of grocery shopping one day and I took a trip and um, purchased some yarn and I'll, uh, it might be in uh, a haul a video next week. And I think that's it. So quiet times. I did a lot of um, crafting this week because I don't like driving in the snow. And it's not that I don't like driving in the snow. My car is a Mustang and uh, rear wheel drive, so it slips and slides a lot. So if I don't have to go out, I won't. And if I have to go out, I can take Colin. My husband works um, in town, so I can drive him to work and then go do, if it's an appointment or something, go to the appointment and then he'll drive me back home after that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So like I said, a little bit of crafting this week, um, wore my sweatpants and sweatshirts a lot because I wasn't planning on going out. Uh, my stepdad popped in yesterday. He needed a copy of my mom's will to go to the bank so he could get all the banking uh, financial part done. So we had a nice afternoon. Uh, he stayed for a couple hours and we had coffee and just chit chatted and he's doing okay. It's It's got to be very hard for him. Like it's hard for me. I, I break down sometimes and um, thinking of my mom and uh, I, I feel bad for my dad because he's alone and um, at least I have my husband here. So that's um he's doing okay though yeah he's uh, been to the casino a couple of times so I, I think that uh, brightens his mood and he told me he won a few thousand dollars so didn't tell me how much he spent but he said he won a few thousand dollars so I'm happy about that that he's going out and um he's um actually uh, been talking to his daughter lately and they had been on bad terms for I'm gonna say 10 15 years so it's nice that um, him and his daughter are getting reunited. So I'm really happy about that. What else? My weekend was fun. We had Paige and uh, we had our pizza night and that was wonderful. And we did some arts and crafts and uh, we did uh, do some diamond painting and I'll show you that a little bit uh, later. So she's excited to see it because I finished it off. We worked on it together and then I finished it off uh, this week. And, um, I love having Paige over and we made our videos. They're a little chaotic, but um, she likes doing them and totally forgot a whole bunch of things, but uh, that's okay. So forgetting, I was going to uh, show you all the Christmas cards I got last um, over Christmas, but completely forgot last week. So I'm going to just go through them quickly. And my first card, which came way before Christmas and, um, you know, with everything that's going on in my life, completely forgot to show people. So this is a beautiful card. I love the birds. 
just beautiful. And this is from Judy's um, Creations in Crochet. And I will link her channel down below. I do follow her all the time. And she's doing a Mal this year. And it's, I believe, birds. So um, I'll show you what I'm doing for that this month. So that was from Judy. Thank you, Judy. And this is uh, another bird, beautiful, on uh, tree limbs covered in snow. And this is from Lynn, and she's also in Southern Ontario. So thank you so much, Lynn. And this is from Mantha's Makes, and it's from Sam. She's over in the UK. And uh, this is the second year that we've exchanged cards. And uh, lovely sentiment inside. So just let it snow. Very cute. And then my next card is from Bella. And Bella it has a, a channel also, and it's uh, Bella Crochet Gifts. Beautiful snowflakes on that. Lovely silver. And then I have a card from Tara Lynn. And Tara Lynn also has a channel, and it's all yarned up. And I also follow her. And she's got the most stunning, beautiful writing. Just beautiful penmanship. I just love it. And a lovely card. Thank you, Tara Lynn. And then I got a card from Sandy. And Sandy is also here in Southern Ontario. I love the fawn with the snowman. It's so cute. So those are my cards. Thank you very much, ladies. I really do appreciate them. And I have a box that I uh, keep these in so I can remember and uh, just go over them and enjoy them again. Thank you so much for the beautiful cards. And um, let's get into some of my whips. So my cross stitch, um, I didn't do that much. Um, I find that uh, it brings back my carpal tunnel. So I've been doing very minimal every morning. So um, I'll show it in a couple of weeks when I have a little uh, more done on it. And the next one is my paint by number. And I'm really enjoying it. I've never done anything with such a dark background. So that's how, what it's turning out to be right now. All different greens and everything. And um, I'm really enjoying it. And then, you know, the dark backgrounds and it's all over. So it's going to be totally dark green. I'm really looking forward to see how that turns out when I'm done. So that is my paint by number. And then, you know, I love my knitting right now and um, I did finish one sock and I have started my second. I keep it in this bag right here and I am using Patton's uh, sock and it is a clover color is the color and let's see 160 yards 75% wool 25% nylon and um, I'm coming along. I've done the uh, the cuff bit by a two by two rib, and um, I'm working up the leg right now. And I have uh, done a few inches up the leg, so it's moving a little bit faster. Uh oh, I just lost a stitch. I'm just gonna have to fix this. Put it over there where it belongs. No, I missed it. There we go. Got it back on. So um, I'm loving this. It's so much fun. The stitches are so tiny, but I'm getting used to it and I'm finding it a little easier. And I think I'm moving a little faster. So uh, I'll hopefully get this done in the next couple of weeks. So I do this in the morning too, while I'm watching some of my videos and the news from the night before. So that's my first whip. And that's the other sock that is completed. And I've got all my stitch markers down there. And this pattern is a simple uh, sock from Kay at the Crazy Sock Lady. And she can whip through two pairs of socks in a week. And I'm hopefully going to get one done in a month. <laughs> we'll see. So that's my sock that I've been working on. I'm really enjoying that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just need a sip of my soda water. Excuse me. It's only uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, but uh, I'm on to soda water because I've already had two huge cups of coffee this morning. So I thought soda water is uh, better for me. Let's see. What have I got else to do? I am doing, once again, I'm doing uh, 
Judy's uh, Mal and it's birds this year. She's picked out a whole bunch of different birds to do um, a Mal each week and um, it's Judy's Creations in crochet and um, the first uh, picture of a bird is wild. I'll put it up here and um, I thought oh what am I going to do? I don't have a lot of colors and then I remembered I bought this I think a year or two ago. I got some yarn from uh, Amazon and it's a uh, I'm just gonna take the uh, ball band off it's uh, already broken here and it is I have no idea I don't know if you can see it hopefully I can uh, zoom it in there it's not in English but uh, it is 100% acrylic yarn it's hand wash in warm water, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, machine wash, dry flat. But it's 100% acrylic, so I don't know about that. I don't know if I'll be able to donate this one or not. I'll have to find out. It's made in China. And the color is, there is, I have no idea what color it is, but this is the color here. And it's a bit brighter, but the colors are true to color right now. So there we go. And uh, tiny, tiny little balls, 50 gram balls. And I think I'm on my fifth or sixth one right now. I think it came in uh, a dozen balls. And I'm doing a corner-to-corner -corner, uh, wheelchair lapgan. So this is the lapgan that I'm working on. And um, right here, I've got another uh, couple rows. And then I can start squaring it off on both sides. Because I've got my width of, uh, I think it's 31 inches. And I need a 40-inch depth or length. So that's, it's just a corner to corner and the colors are brighter, but the colors are showing up really well when I hold it back here. So that's the color and it matches really well with the, uh, the bird for this month for January. So that's what I've done for that Mal that I'm working on. Just putting it over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I've been working on my mom's memory banquet. I um, used my ball winder and my big skein unroller. I forget what the name is. I will list it here. I always forget what it's called. And I hanked up all my uh, beige yarn. It's very, very thin. So I've been messing around with it. And uh, this is what I've come up with. It's a little thinner. But it turned out okay. This is, um, I wet it last night with hot water and it did bloom a little bit. So I'm very happy because I tried going down a size in crochet hook, but then my, uh, my size was too small for all the other, uh, yarns that I've done. I tried going up and it was too big and too holy. So I used, and then I even tried doubling it up, but it's just so much bigger. And it hasn't been even blocked yet. And it's so much thicker than the yarn that I'm using. So I've decided on this one. So I'm just using the same hook. I'm keeping my tension a little tighter than I normally would. Like I just crochet and I'm a loose crocheter, keep the flow going. But I am paying attention on my tension. And uh, so it's been blocked. And um, the size matches perfectly. So I think that's what I'm going to go with there. So just the same crochet hook, a 3.25. And um, it's a little thinner, a little bit more airy. But I think it'll turn out well. So there. So I'm just going to undo these, these ones and redo them with the uh, crochet hook that I'm using. So that's what I've been working on. I just, you know, I made four different squares to see which one would be the best. So I'm just uh, sticking with the same uh, crochet hook. And... Um, these will go in between all my multicolored ones. And I'm not sure if I'm going to whip stitch it or if I'm going to do a, um, a slip stitch in the back of it to make the top smooth. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how it goes. I know I watched once on um, Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches how she uh, sews her uh, garments together and there's no seam. So I'm going to have to go back and find that video. And... Um, try that on these to see what it's like because I'll probably be seaming it up with the uh, cream colored yarn. 
So that's what I did on my memory blanket. <clears throat> and then I've got one more knitting project and Miss Paige, my granddaughter, picked out some yarns. It's loops and thread and I got this on clearance and I didn't realize at the time it's uh, called Mixed Up Acrylic Blend. There's 226 yards of it and it is acrylic polyester, oh sorry, 67% acrylic, 12% polyester, 11% nylon and 7% metallic and 3% wool. So not much wool and, and it, it's soft, but it's got all different kinds of yarn in it. It's got almost like a, the light here is almost like a roving. And then this uh, purple here has a metallic and the, if you can see right there, the color change in the purple, it's got like a, um, a fuzz on it. Oh, you can see it right here, but I don't like it because you can pull it right out. So it will probably fall out and I'm okay with that because then it'll just be a different color purple. So it's a little bit more purpley than it's showing up. Some colors show up perfect and some don't. It's more purpley, less bluish color. But um, I only spent a few hours on this and I'm really pleased. I'm doing a uh, two by two rib and uh, just straight knitting all the way around. So up oh, there you can see the difference in colors right there. So um, I kind of follow uh, Ross's on the Ross hat, which I will link below, but I use my own count because my tension is way different than everybody else's. And um, I'll just uh, start decreasing after I've got like five and a half, six inches, and that'll fit Paige's head. So that's what I've done there. And then the reason I did this is because she was watching channels with me and Bag O'Day put out a, uh, a video and a tutorial. And I don't know if it's new or not. It just came up on my watch next and I did. And it is the cat stitch. So she wanted a cat stitch scarf. So I've got it doubled here. So I love the way the cat is right here. And you can see the cats in pink and in purple. So um, I made it um, a smaller width than Bagel Dated because uh, Paige is smaller. And I made it approximately six feet so it'll keep her nice and toasty warm. So, and the, the yarns I used for this are um, Loops of Thread. And the colors I used were, let's see, I know, Amethyst for the purple. And rose, oh, sorry, that was my French, and just called pink. So that's why um, I thought I'd knit the hat to match, and she'll get this next weekend. So you may not see the completed hat. I'll take a picture before I get it. But the colors uh, matched up pretty well. So she's going to get a hat and scarf set. So that is a completed item. I'm really happy. It's such a cute little pattern. Very simple. And yes, I believe it's a yarn eater, but uh, anything my uh, granddaughter wants, she gets basically. So very pleased with how this turned out. So the hat and scarf set is for Paige and hopefully uh, it will be done by next weekend, next time I see her. So I'll just put this here. I'm running out of room on my chair. And speaking of Paige, this was I got from Outdoor Tides, the uh, online crafting store, and we finished the cat. Oops, I've got this in wrong here. Sorry. There we go. And it turned out so cute and it's so sparkly and she is just going to love it in her bedroom. So uh, her and I worked on it and I finished it off and she'll get it the next time. Uh, she, I've got fluff from my yarn flying, it's the wool. So I was very pleased how this turned out and it's a hard plastic and she can just hang it up anywhere in her bedroom or save it for Halloween. I think she's going to want it in her bedroom. 
because she loves her kitty cat. She's got a cat too. He's an old guy. I think he's like 16 years old. His name is Thor. He's pure white and he's just moving a little slow lately. So she loves their kitties. So there we go. So that's another finished item. And then I have um, my album uh, make along that uh, Neva from Manic Ma let me get this right Manic Mama Musling is doing and I've been using it out of scraps and I'll just show you my scrap bin I have here it's actually in the family room and we had to get that because I had it in open baskets but my cat was taking out uh, balls and we find them all over the house the next morning she brings us little treats so all the way up the stairs there's balls of yarn so I had to get something with a lid on it so this is approximately two feet by one foot and um, I just uh, keep all my scraps in there now and there I do hank up my yarns if uh, my skeins become floppy I like to hank them up and once they're too small to hank up I just roll into balls and um, put a little hair clip on them so they don't uh, unravel and uh, put them in my uh, my treasure chest I think right there so this I'm doing squares and I'll put the album up I've never seen this album cover before I'm not into heavy rock I'm country girl kind of so um, I decided to make a square but I did not use the black in it so there is the color there I'm gonna put a picture of this because like I said I'm showing you the back here. Here's the front. <laughs> the colors are a little brighter than what they're showing up, but I'm really pleased how it's working. So that's the second week, and here is the first week. So, and I'll be, uh, they're approximately 10 inches, 12 inches once I get a border. So um, it'll be three wide and four down and uh, it'll be perfect for lap gans. So I'll get a few lap gans. So that was last week's and this is this week's. I love the way they turn out and they'll be warm enough but not too warm. So that's another completed item. So every week I'll be doing the uh, album and following at uh, following Neva's channel. And then the last item I completed, I told you I had a lot today. The uh, last item I completed was my movie marquee. I'll put the movie up here. And I can't remember what it's called, but it's up here. And um, this is the blanket that I did. I'll hold it this way so you can see it all. So, um... I just took the colors and I did a rectangle granny square. The yellow is much brighter and I used my scraps of red and I have lots of red, I don't know why, scraps of yellow, scraps of black, but I did um, use a, uh, oh, I don't have it here. I wonder where it went, but I did use Craftsmart, which is the old loops and thread, um, economy yarn. I use that in purple. So just a big rectangle granny square and it measures uh, 31 by 40 and a half inches. So it's perfect measurements for a wheelchair lap again. So that's my completed blanket. And I think that's it. So I think I got a lot accomplished this week. Um, like I said, I don't like going out in uh, stormy weather. And this weekend, what are we doing? Uh, we're going to be going to visit Colin's mom on Sunday because we still have her Christmas gifts. And now that she's settled in, we'll bring her her Christmas gifts over and we'll spend the afternoon with her. Not planning on going out because um, we're getting this uh, snowstorm tonight. So we'll see what it's like tomorrow. My hubby and I might be outside shoveling. Who knows? But uh, and that gives me a lot of time to crochet. I have been working on my... Uh, my uh, book cover inspiration and I've picked my colors out I've made a square and I'm gonna actually do the uh, video now and it'll come out next week so I've been working on that I might start on some of the squares for that and something else who knows I might uh, do a few more uh, 
circles to squares because I've got all the circles made. I'm going to make them into squares and make a wheelchair lap in out of that too. So that's what I have planned for this weekend. i um, watching the hockey game Saturday night and that's about it. So I hope you have a wonderful whip weekend and I will see you soon. Bye for now.